This activity will involve students in the study of different types of joints, where they are, and what they do. Students will be creating a model joint out of household objects using different objects to represent different parts of the joint. The materials that will be used for this activity are 5 16 inch wooden dowels cut into 3 inch pieces. Each group will need two. Modeling clay, one small ball per group. Plastic wrap cut into 3 inch squares, one per group and small rubber bands, one per group. Hand out the joint modeling worksheet to each student, which will serve as their notes, along with the joint modeling student instructions. These instructions provide a brief outline of the steps taken as activity, but include pictures to aid the students. The instructions also include discussion questions, which will be mentioned at each step. Make sure the students understand that you will be providing additional instructions along the way so they do not get ahead of you. Provide each group two wooden dowels. These dowels will represent the bones of the joint. Ask students questions to help them discover the purpose of a bone, which is to provide support and a place for muscle attachment. Questions you may want to ask include, what would a limb without a bone be like? What functions could it not perform? Since we know bones are hard, what does this tell you about its job? What do you think the purpose of a bone is? Tell them to record the function of the wooden dowel bones in the chart on the worksheet. Have them complete step one on the joint modeling student instructions. They should position the dowels together as if they were a joint, bending and extending them with their hands. Ask students if they think the joint is complete. Do the ends fit well together? Would a person's joint work well if it was only consisted of bones? Give each group a small piece of modeling clay. Tell them that the clay represents cartilage. Have them complete step two by dividing the clay into two pieces, rolling each piece into a ball and flattening the ball on one end of each of the dowels. Explain that if a joint only consisted of two bones rubbing against each other, the bones would begin to wear down. Also, without anything in between the bones, there would be no shock absorbency, causing a lot of force to be exerted on the bones. Cartilage is a soft surface that acts to cushion the bones and help them fit together. Instruct the students again to take turns positioning the dowels together as if they were a joint, moving them with their hands. Ask the students if they can tell how the joint is different from the pre-cartilage model. Is the cartilage absorbing the force? Have them record the function of the clay cartilage in the chart on their worksheet. Ask the students to look at their joint and see if they have any problems. Do they notice that the joint is not held together? What kind of structure is needed to hold the joint structures in place? Hand each student a square of plastic wrap. Tell the students that the plastic wrap represents the synovial membrane that encloses the joint capsule. Have the students complete step three on their handout by rolling the dowel and clay up in the plastic wrap, overlapping the plastic wrap all around the joint so that it holds together. Ask students whether cartilage is alive or not. Cartilage is in fact alive, but it is important to remind students that cartilage does not have blood vessels. This means that it needs another way of getting the nutrients that most organs get from blood. Ask students to look at their model. How do they think cartilage could get its nutrients? Explain that in addition to holding the joint together, the joint capsule produces a fluid that supplies these nutrients. In our model, we have not included the fluid that would be inside of the plastic wrap. Ask the students if they know the name of the fluid that supplies the cartilage with nutrients. This fluid is called the synovial fluid, and students should think back onto the demonstration the vet showed them to remember what other functions the synovial fluid has such as lubrication. Have students record the two functions of the plastic wrap synovial membrane joint capsule in the chart on their worksheet. Remind students that the joint is also held together by ligaments. Have students complete step four in which they add rubber bands to represent the ligaments. Have the students move the joint with their hands again to see if it moves any easier now that it is held securely together. Have the students record the function of the rubber band ligaments in their worksheet. Ask the students what is missing in the model, or what their own hands represent. 
It is important for the students to know that the muscles are what cause the force that moves the joints. The student's hands represent the muscles in this model because they cause the force that moves the model joint. You could have the students hypothesize about where the muscles are connected to the joint.